clavicle, also known as the collarbone, is located in the upper chest. It is part of the shoulder joint that helps provide stability during arm movements. Clavicle fractures are common and usually result from trauma from motor vehicle collisions, falls, or sports injury. Newborns can experience a clavicle fracture as the result of a difficult birth. You may hear a snapping sound when the clavicle breaks, followed by immediate pain. The pain may increase and become sharp with movement. Bruising and swelling are common. If the broken bones have moved out of position, you may see a bump under your skin. Your shoulder may look different and slump forward and downward. Most clavicle fractures can be treated with limited immobilization, such as a sling and pain relievers. Surgery may be necessary for fractures that fail to heal, broken bones that come through the skin, fractures that are a threat to nearby nerves, blood vessels, joints, or soft tissues, and severely displaced fractures, particularly when the bone is shortened. Opinions about surgery are ever-changing. Recent research shows that many patients that are not treated with surgery have had persistent problems. Your doctor will discuss the risks and benefits of both surgical and non-surgical treatments with you. Surgery involves repositioning the bone fragments and securing them with surgical plates and screws or a device placed inside the bones to hold them in position while they heal. The hardware may or may not be removed after the bone has healed. Let's take a look at the procedure. To begin, an incision is made over the clavicle fracture. The bones are placed in proper position. Surgical hardware secures the bones together. The incision is closed and bandaged. You will wear a sling to support your arm following surgery. Physical rehabilitation will help you regain strength and motion. Recovery from clavicle fracture varies from person to person. Young children may heal in three weeks, and adults may take six to eight weeks to heal. Most everyone can return to their full activity level within about 12 weeks.